Well, welcome to uh, Winter Park in Colorado, where, uh, yeah, it's been bitterly cold. Yesterday, it was down to about minus 15, minus 18 or so, with, uh, with strong wind as well. As you can see, blue sky today, so uh, it's a little bit warmer during the day. However, first thing this morning, minus 15. Now, it may sound cold, but you can keep warm in cold temperatures. Uh, the key thing is to dress correctly. Uh, so, we'll start from head to toe, shall we? Um, let's remove the goggles there. You can see I'm wearing a helmet. I'm not normally a big fan of wearing helmets, actually. I tend to wear them when I'm seeing in the trees or I'm going off piste. I don't tend to wear them on the piste a lot, but I am today for the warmth, because as you can probably, if you can make out my hat under there, but I've got a little beanie under there and the helmet compresses it, keeping it snugly warm. Um, got a little schnud here, which I keep pushed up over my face. Um, the thing I suffer the most from in the cold is uh, the hands. Um, again, you don't have to suffer from cold hands. I've got, as you can see, outer gloves on here. One pair of inner gloves <laughs> and uh, well, you can make out the white through there, the hole there. Um, I've got a second pair of inner gloves underneath, made of silk, and my uh, secret weapon for the cold, these little things here, hand warmers. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, they're cheapest chips to buy. You put them on first in the morning in your glove, and they warm up, keeping your hands toasty warm. And on the lift, you can sort of pull your fingers out of the... Uh, out of the gloves here and just hold on to them tight and that will keep your hands warm. Uh, the key thing as well is layering and uh, yeah I've got quite a few layers on both top and bottom obviously outer shell here uh, undo that I've then got a down jacket underneath that's keeping me toasty warm um, another outer fleece here um, um, got a little gilet here made of wool keeping me warm here and then uh, under layer here made of merino wool and underneath that some thermals so uh, it may sound a lot and it is but yeah it's keeping me warm uh, which is great now um, if we look a little bit further down <laughs> um, outer trousers here I've obviously got some thermals on and uh, well my secret weapon for underneath is um, these things my pyjamas. <laughs> it may seem a bit silly to go skiing around in pyjamas. They're only made of cotton, but what they do is give me another layer of insulation, traps another pocket of air, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm toasty warm. And if we go all the way down to the boots, um, you can actually buy the toe warmers. They're a little bit like the hand warmers I've got. They're sort of flat things, and you squeeze them into the front of your boot. Um, it does, yeah, it sort of tightens up the front of your boot. Your toes feel a little bit squashed together, but I've, frankly, I'd rather have toes squashed together feeling warm than toes a little bit loose absolutely freezing so again I strongly recommend them and uh, yeah secret weapon for the boots I'm not wearing them now because uh, it's warmed up but I was earlier on is uh, well these things here if I can get them out of my pocket um, they're called boot gloves and that's exactly what they are um, you put their uh, boot glove you put them over your boot um, and they keep it warm. Now, I thought that was a bit of a gimmick, really, um, but when I was in Sunshine Village in uh, Canada a couple of weeks ago, where it was minus 26, I noticed a lot of the ski instructors were wearing these things, and they really do work. They keep your, uh, your boots warm. Uh, the, the key thing is to put them on when your boots are warm. There's no point in skiing around, your boots get cold, and then you put them on. That's a bit of a waste of time. Um, it's to put them on when they're warm, and again, they just create another layer of insulation over your boots so very very good idea they're made of neoprene i think uh, they're not cheap but um nevertheless they're well well worth it so that's what i wear on days like today when it's cold i know it's uh well down to minus 26 in the alps well it's been minus 26 for about two weeks here in north america i mentioned uh, canada where that was the temperature i then went down to idaho and again minus 26 there in brundage mounds and absolutely freezing but yeah i mean i do keep warm now the key thing in all this cold weather, it may sound silly to say it because it's so obvious, is don't get cold. If you do begin to get cold, then go indoors. I mean, I've stopped to do this here with a restaurant. You might want to sort of swing the camera around there. There's a, there's a restaurant, as you can see, just there. Um, I haven't actually got too cold stripping off and showing you all my layers, but if I had, then I'd go in there, warm up, put them all back on again. Um, it's, yeah, if you get cold, just go in, have a hot chocolate, and don't get cold in the first place, because once you get cold, it's really difficult to warm up. So, yeah, with all this, I'm uh, toasty warm, and uh, I'm off for a ski. Um, the other thing, when it's cold, which again sounds a bit obvious, but it's where you ski. 
if it's windy, then don't go to the top of the mountain, uh, where it's obviously going to be a bit of wind chill, but stay lower down. Um, and again, plenty of trees lower down uh, here in Colorado, and that's uh, exactly where I'm going skiing now.